Chapter 06 Wife The boy wanted to work for the captain. He wanted to be a sailor. So he started his training to become a sailor. The ship was on the way to Brazil. We arrived there after 22 days. I said goodbye to the boy and the sailors. Brazil was a new state in South America. Many people started a new life there. It was the same for me. I didn't know anybody there. Soon I met people who had sugar plantations. They became my friends. I liked Brazil very much. Soon I learned the language. I had some money from the captain. I bought some small land in Brazil. I started to produce sugar. I didn't produce much for the first two years. But then my plantation grew fast. I was single but my life was good. I was independent. My financial situation was better every month. We paid only small taxes in Brazil. The society was new. We didn't have many rules from the government. Soon I had enough money. I could hire a lady for cleaning my house. I asked my friends if they knew about any good woman. One of my friends said, I have a daughter who is 18 years old. I think that she could work for you. She is also a very good cook. The next day his daughter came to my house. She was friendly but a little shy. She was also a very pretty girl. We talked shortly. I told her what I needed. The next day she came to my house. She cleaned the dirty floor and my furniture. She took out the rubbish. She came to my house every morning on Monday and on Thursday. She stayed in my house for four hours. She cleaned the house. She also cooked for me. She gave food to my cat too. I was always happy to see the girl. Sometimes we had breakfast or lunch together and we talked. Then she was ill for one week. She couldn't come to my house. I felt a strange feeling when she wasn't in my house. I really missed her. I thought, baby, I love her. One week later, she came to my house. I was really happy to see her. I saw that she was happy too. I hugged her. Then I kissed her. It was a long kiss. Two weeks later, I went to her father's house. I asked him if I could marry his daughter. He was quiet. I waited for his reaction. Then he said, I agree. I was the happiest man in the world. Two months later, I married the daughter of my friend. We started to plan a family. This period of my life was great. We had big plans for our family and our plantation. We needed a bigger house. We needed more money for a bigger house. I thought about the business in Africa. I could make a lot of money in Africa quickly. I spoke about Africa with my friends. Some of my friends liked this idea. Chapter 07 Hurricane One day, three of my friends came to our house. They told me that they wanted to go to Africa. They asked me if I wanted to go with them. I said, Yes, I want to go with you. We started to prepare all the necessary things for the journey. Soon we were ready to go. I said goodbye to my wife. Then we started our journey. Our plan was to be back in two months. We left Brazil on the 1st of September 1655. Our ship was very big. But we were only 17 men. The ship was full of things for business. We had cups, glass, mirrors, knives and other products. The weather was good but very hot at the beginning of our journey. A hurricane came one week later. The hurricane was extremely strong. Our ship was in danger. When the hurricane was away, we saw that we were close to the northern part of South America. We were near the Orinoco River. This wasn't part of our plan. The ship was broken. We couldn't go to Africa. The captain wanted to go back and repair the ship. But I didn't want to go back. We talked about it. We decided to go to Barbados. We wanted to repair the ship there. Before we got to Barbados, a second hurricane came in the evening. The wind was very strong. The waves were big. 
Then one man shouted, Land! When the man shouted, Land! The ship stopped. The sea wasn't deep enough. It was bad for our broken ship. The ship could break every second. We had to go on a smaller boat. This was very dangerous. The boat was very small for 17 men. But we had to do it if we wanted to save our lives. So we were on a small boat. The waves were very big. The wind was extremely strong. The wind pushed us to big rocks. We knew that the crash was close. Suddenly, a big wave came. The wave overturned the boat. I was underwater. I couldn't breathe. I didn't see the other men. I didn't see the boat. Then my head was above water. It was only a short moment. But I could breathe. I saw a little beach between the rocks. A big wave pushed me to the beach. I was still in water. But I felt a land under my feet. I knew that I had to stand up. I had to get out of the water before another wave came. But my body was weak. I couldn't stand up fast. When another wave came, I was under the water again. I couldn't breathe for a while. But then another wave threw me back on the beach. I tried to get up. I tried to go further from the sea. I was able to move 10 meters up. I was safe. But my arms and legs were very weak. I collapsed. I didn't move for some time. After some time, I was able to get up. I looked for the others. I couldn't find the other men. Chapter 08 Island I was probably the only person alive. All my friends were dead. I only found three hats and two shoes on the beach. It was horrible for me. The weather was still very bad, but the waves weren't so big. I saw the ship. It was far from the land. I looked around. I had almost nothing. I was wet. I had no other clothes. I had nothing to eat or drink. I had no good weapon. I had only a little knife which I found in my pocket. The situation was really bad. How could I survive with only a little knife? First, I tried to find some fresh water. I found a small river. I drank the water. I was scared of dangerous animals. I made a weapon from a piece of wood. I spent the night in a large tree. When I woke up the next morning, the sea was calm. I could still see the ship. I needed to get some things from the ship. I took off my clothes. I swam to the ship. I didn't see a way inside the big ship. I swam around it twice. Then I saw a rope on one side of the ship. I used the rope to get up. The ship was empty. I tried to find some food. I was lucky. Some food on the ship was dry. I also found a bottle of rum. I took the bottle with me. Then I heard something. Somebody was on the ship. Who was it? Somebody from my friends? It wasn't possible. My friends were all dead. I was a little scared. I went to the place where I heard the noises. Then I saw who it was. It was a dog. It was a dog of our captain. Now, I had a friend. I wasn't alone. I had to carry the food, rum, and the dog to the beach. But I didn't have a small boat on the ship. I had to make a raft. I found some wood. I made a raft from the wood. I also needed some clothes. I started to look for the clothes. I found some. When I looked for clothes, I found a box with some tools. I found a nice carpet next to the box. I also found four guns and dry gunpowder. I put everything on my raft. The sea was calm. The wind went to the land. This was all good. Soon I was on the beach. I started to look for a place where I could stay. I saw a hill. I thought that from the hill I could see where I was. I took a gun and I started to walk to the hill. I got to the top. I saw a sea around the whole place. I was on an island. I saw two small islands near. One was to the north. One was to the west. 
I also saw a big land to the south. It was about 100 kilometers far. I saw nothing to the east. I saw only the ocean. I didn't see any sign of people on the island. I saw only wild animals. Chapter 09 Tent I saw many birds on the way back from the hill, but I didn't know their names. I didn't know if I could eat their meat. I killed one bird, but its meat wasn't good. I went back to the raft. I moved my things further inside the land. I wanted to go back to the ship again the next day. I wanted to move all the useful things to the island. The next storm could destroy the ship completely. I made a small tent near the beach. I brought all the things which could be destroyed by rain or sun inside the tent. The night was close. I put some clothes on the ground. I wanted to sleep on the clothes. I also put two guns next to my left shoulder. I also put two guns next to my right shoulder. I had many guns around me. Now I felt safe. I was tired from all the work. I fell asleep very soon. I swam back to the ship the next day. I made a second raft. I put many things on it. I was especially happy with seven new guns and some beds. I took all these things safely to the beach. I went to the ship the next day again. I brought back many useful tools and other objects. For example, I found a lot of candles. I needed candles on the island. I also found two big boxes of tea. I made a lot of visits to the ship. One day, I discovered a box which was closed. I found a key under the box. When I opened the box, I saw some coins from Europe and Brazil. Money wasn't useful on the island, but I still took the money with me. I also found playing cards with pictures. They were pictures of the king, the queen, and other people. I could play some games. I could have some fun with the cards. The next day, big dark clouds were in the sky. They were bigger and bigger. The wind was stronger and stronger. I visited the ship, but I didn't make a raft on that day because a storm was close. A raft could break easily in a storm. I swam back to the beach. The wind was really strong at night. Fortunately, I was safe inside my little tent. The ship was gone the next morning. I knew that I could stay on the island for a long time. I wanted to make a nice place for me to live. I also needed to be safe. I could look for a cave. Or I could make a bigger tent. Maybe I could do both. I needed a place which was close to fresh water. The place had to be in the shadow. The place also needed to be easy to protect. I also needed a view of the sea. I wanted to be able to see ships. I found a nice place next to a big hill. I decided to put my tent there. The hill protected me from one side. I built a fence on all the other sides. There was no door in the fence. I used a ladder when I wanted to go over the fence. I took all my things inside. I had more plans in my head. I made two tents. One tent was big. The second tent was small. The smaller tent was inside the bigger tent. Chapter 10 Calendar The bigger tent protected the gunpowder and the food from rains. I lived in the smaller tent. When the tents were finished, I started to dig a cave at the bottom of the hill. I wanted to use the cave for food. I brought stones and earth from the cave to the fence. I made a terrace on the inside of the fence. I still worked on the cave when a storm came one day. There was some lightning during the storm. I thought that the lightning could hit one of the big boxes with the gunpowder. The explosion could destroy everything. It could even kill me. I was scared. I needed to make a change as soon as possible. After the storm was gone, I opened the boxes with the gunpowder. I put the gunpowder into smaller boxes and bags. I hid the boxes and bags in the rocks. I had a lot of gunpowder, so this took me three days. I also hunted every day. It was a break from the hard work. 
and I also needed some meat. Thanks to this, I also started to know the island and the animals more. I discovered some goats. I hunted the goats. Then I had enough meat. I was sad sometimes. I thought about my wife. I missed her a lot. I thought about my friends in Brazil. I thought about my parents. I thought that living on this island alone was without meaning. I knew that traveling by sea could change your life completely. It could be great, but it could be horrible too. I knew that my friends from the ship were dead. I knew that I was the only person alive. I was lucky to be alive. I was also lucky because I had all the things like food, guns, and clothes. I couldn't survive without these things. I decided to make a big cross. I put it on the beach. It was near the place of my arrival to the island. I wrote on it the date of my arrival. It was the 30th of September, 1659. I wanted to keep information about time. The cross was my calendar. I made a small cut in the cross every day. The seventh cut was longer. It marked the end of the week. The beginning of each month was also a longer cut. One day, I thought about my situation. I had negative thoughts. T is wasn't good. I decided to make a list of all the good and bad things in my life. I was alone on this island. I had nobody for a conversation. I had only a little chance that I could see England again. But I was alive. I was safe. I had my freedom. I had food to eat. This was all positive. I didn't have any good clothes, but I didn't need a lot of clothes on this island. I had a dog. He understood some words. He understood when I said, Sit down. Come here. Bring it. Don't do it. Don't jump. Let's do it. Let's eat. Let's run. This list showed me that my situation wasn't perfect, but I had also some good things in my life. I tried to concentrate on positive things only. I continued to make my place better and better. I made the cave bigger. More space in the cave helped me keep all my things organized.